guys welcome back to my channel sharp designs by lakeisha where i am designing my way through life and boiling on a budget today i have a very exciting well i think everything's exciting that i do but i do have an exciting project that i'm going to work on i am working on a piece for one of my clients who the luau baby shower was for she wants me to make something for her nursery so i found the most amazing idea strolling on instagram of course and i'm going to bring you guys along while i make it here's what we'll need you're going to need a foam board to place your flowers on. I got one with a little thickness because I plan on sticking my flowers through the board. You're gonna need a frame to place the board on once you finish placing the flowers onto it. I purchased mine from Ikea. The center of it is 20 by 30, which is the same size as the foam board that I have. And it has a decorative outline on the picture frame, which makes it look a little fancy. And you're going to need some fake flowers. I purchased mine from Hobby Lobby because I loved how they look. They almost look real. So I purchased these. You can also get some from the Dollar Tree to make this a less expensive project. You'll also be needing some E6000 that I'll be using to adhere the flowers to the board. You want to start off by taking the flowers and separating them from the stems. Normally fake flowers pop off very easy. As you can see, they're coming off. And then I did this in a matter of about two to three minutes. I had about eight batches of flowers that I had to separate from the stem. And this is how they all looked afterwards. All right, so now it's time for the fun stuff. In order to adhere the flowers to the board, I really wanted to use my hot glue gun, but I didn't have glue sticks, so I had to improvise. I placed holes into this board using a screw and then I placed E6000 into the holes and pushed the flowers into the board. Long, but I did not want to go to the store for hot glue sticks. All right, so this is the screw I used. It's actually one that I had in the wall from a picture I had to hang and I just kind of pulled it out to get things started. I take my screw, place a hole into the board, dab the E6000 and stuck the flower stem into the board and repeat dab stick push St stick the nail into the board dab the e6000 push the flower in and repeat i would find my next space press the flower into the board to see where the screw needed to go into the board take the screw push it in Dab my E6000 glue and push the flower into the board. And that went on for quite some time after this. So here is an update of what we have so far. It's coming along beautiful. All right, let me get back to work. So at this point in the game, I kind of have an idea of how the spacing works. So I pre-punched my holes to make things move a lot faster. All right, guys, so it is a few days later. I have hot glue for my glue gun. So I pre-punched some holes along the sides of the board and I'm gonna fill in the holes as I did with the E6000, except this time I am using hot glue and it will dry a lot faster so I can finish this project today. I'm just gonna take my glue gun and just continue along placing glue into the holes and placing the flowers. This is what's going to give it a curved effect on the end to look like just a beautiful carpet of roses. If I didn't put the roses on the outside, then you would have been able to see the board and it, I don't think it would have looked this clean. I did have to buy a few more roses to do this, but I think it is so worth it. so after I filled in all of those holes this is what it looks like I think it looks amazing I filled in the gap a little more by fluffing the flowers out 
to fill in that crease that's there in between the flowers. What you guys think? These flowers look so good. It was worth every penny. All right, guys, this is what it's looking like. I've completed both sides. You can see how the outside of the board has a curve there instead of just being the flowers being straight across. It looks so much better than it did. It's nice and fluffy. All right, so the next step is gonna be to attach the name. The first thing that I am going to do is center it where I want it. What I'm gonna do now is place holes in the board, the actual foam board that the flowers are on and the spaces where these pre-drilled holes are that are on the name. You can see there is one up there and one right there. And those did come pre-drilled in this name. What I'm doing here is taking my same screw that I used to place the holes for the flowers and I took a space into the foam board right under where the hole is in the name and I'm pushing it through till it gets to the other side and you can see here how I'm going completely through the board and I'm going to do two holes one this there and then one right next to it so that I can loop my fishing wire into that to bring it through and tie it through the name and these are my two holes all right so this is my fishing wire i'm just going to unravel and cut a piece off to get started with hanging the name all right so this is how the board looks from the back side i'm going to take one end of my string this is what it looks like and i'm going to press it through the hole until it comes out on the other side i'm going to pull it through and then I'm gonna take the other side of the string and place it through the second hole and pull that through as well. So on the other side, I'll have two pieces that will be stuck to the board. All right, so now that I have both sides of my string pulled through the board, I am now going to use that to attach the name. I'm gonna take both ends of the string and stick it through the hole that is pre-drilled you don't have a hole in the name you can also always just wrap the fishing wire around the name it is clear so it won't show and I'm gonna tie a knot actually a couple of knots to ensure that it is attached to the name very well and cut it with my scissors All right, guys, this is what it's looking like so far. The name is attached to the board. All right, so I was trying to figure out if I wanted to use hot glue to adhere the board to the frame, but I found these in Hobby Lobby and wanted to give them a try. It says it has the strength of adhesive tape and can be bonded to all surfaces. So I'm going to try this out. That way, in the future, she can always reuse this frame because this is supposed to come off very easy they were pretty easy to use um, I had two sides with a material around the adhesive part just take one side off place it onto the surface and peel off the other side of the material and I put that on all five corners of the board and four corners of the board and one in the middle once I had all of my adhesive strips down, I then took the board and centered it onto the frame and pushed down in the areas where the adhesive strips were to get a secure hold. All right, this is the finished product, guys. I'm so excited with how it came out. I'm about to go hang it now so you guys can see it really good. All right, guys, here it is. I cannot wait for her to send me the pictures of this in the nursery. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. And if you have not watched my last video on the flower wall, you may want to check that out. I come across tons of things on Instagram and Pinterest that I would love to give a try. And if you have a party coming up and you want me to give something a try, go ahead and send it to me. Go ahead and check out that video for details. And if you give this project a try or any of my other DIY tutorials, definitely send it to me in the DM or tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your work.
guys. Thanks for watching, guys. You blow kissing. Bye.